Okay, so welcome back to the channel. Welcome to episode 2 of my, like, invasions, um, overview, my invasions playthrough on the channel here. I have made a lot of progress since my video yesterday, and, um, most of it can be shown here, right? You can see the difference. I've played, I think, only, like, two hours more, though, so it's just a matter of, like, what I ended up doing in that time span that made me progress the way I did. So, um, I've played now 110 matches with Shujinko. Um, I now have, like, you know, 30,000... And we're at 32,000 uh, pints of blood spilled, you know, etc, etc. So there is the career stats for invasions right now. Now I have the uh, Shujinko uh, combat card at the top left corner there, you can see, from the mastery with him. And then uh, I did get some more mastery on Melina as well. I think I mainly got a brutality. Um, yeah, oh no, a fatality. I got her second fatality. And then this is what I'm looking forward to next. That is that for the career stats and uh, the mastery. So let's go into the actual invasion gameplay itself. I was doing Sundo yesterday night. I uh, unlocked Sundo for the first time, and then I basically oh here we go. We got an ambush. Um, I played through invasions and I beat I think all of Sundo uh, last night or the majority of it. Um, at least. Uh, sorry, I couldn't focus. Okay, basically the the majority of Sundo. Um, there is there is like a secret path that you have to beat by doing uh, a scorpion fatality, which uh, is a, is a pretty cool touch. There are some secret things in invasions that, uh, you know, they don't really tell you flat out what you have to do, um, that you have to figure out yourself. But there's also people online that also say what to do, of course. So for example, in Feng Zhang, there's one that says destroy the world, and there's a brutality that will be censored. But um, brutalities are so sick, dude. They're so clutch to farm um, XP in invasions. So there's that, we got a talisman. So as I was saying though, um, I basically completed all of Sundo. I think, I think I might be missing like a little bit of stuff i can't really remember uh, let's get rid of this one so here we got to the end which was the uh, the portal part of it right and then dude, this is so beautiful it is so beautiful um so you get to the portal part of it and this is where you can enter like other places of course so the newest place i've unlocked is the uh, tar cotton colony i don't think i've actually done much here um but uh what my strat has been recently is to go into a match and just uppercut 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 and get the brutality to uh, finish it off so let me show my card right here um, we have, of course, still Molina, Shujinko. I'm still using the EXP Talisman. I think I'll probably change that eventually. Um, like, when I get to, like, the Hanzo part of it, like, the harder stuff. Um, but for now, I do want to increase my XP. And then, uh, here's the Talisman I was using. I was just trying to use one with four charges. Um, but, uh, I think that... Like, this is the part I think I'm the most confused on right now, is the Talismans. Because you have, like, a level 1 Talisman, right? Um, but it has, like, the substats. Then you have like here a level 8 talisman but it's a common with no substats of course right so i have to like upgrade this talisman to get the substats or the bonuses but then you have like here a level 9 level 10 no substats on this level 9 one so i don't know if i should keep the ones with the higher level or keep the one with the substats because like as of right now when i go to like the forge and stuff my um talismans aren't like that crazy right now i don't have any uh, upgrades right now so let's go here let's go to the forge um, I'm kind of all over the place with this video already, I apologize, I'm just kind of blabbering away. So, see, if I go to my upgrade talismans, if I even if I want to take like, this level 9 one, converts talisman energy, converts to acid, see, okay, there's stuff like this I can add. So it makes talisman projectile bigger, pulls opponent closer. See, but like, I don't know if that that's wasting. So like, let's say I add all this stuff or whatever, like random stuff, it only puts it up to uncommon, and I don't really know if that's even worth it right now. I think I have to wait for like specific instances to where the stuff's gonna actually be worth it um, to do that with talismans and kind of waste those resources. But um, I think one of the most important things that I unlocked last night that was uh, definitely something interesting was the Tower Mesa. The Gateway Portal is a mesa completely dedicated to towers. So here's like the Hourly Tower. Um, we go over here, you can see the navigation, what does it say, to Daily Towers. So you have Daily Towers, um, Hourly Towers, Weekly Towers, and uh, they are they are no joke. There's, oh, there's also a forge here, and there's also a collector here for the shop as well. But they are no joke, chat. Like, I'm telling you, they are insane. The modifiers on these things will be, like, pitch black screen. Um, there's, like, a burning from the floor, so you constantly are getting hit by that kind of stuff. And all that kind of things. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's absolutely absurd. Um, makes the talisman's effect last longer. Okay, I don't think I need to dabble in any of this right now. But it's kind of crazy, so this basically is, is very traditional tower stuff, kind of like MK11 if you played that, of course. Where you have the Towers of Time, you have different towers that reset uh, every once in a while. So here, the Weekly Tower 1, Weekly Tower... or that was Weekly Tower 2. 
and then here weekly tower one you, you guys get the picture right but you can see the modifiers flaming corners fire cracks flaming hellhound bonfires bouncing fireballs it's crazy it's almost like the test your luck towers and you get like all the bad modifiers so this is a very challenging thing and uh it is very fun though especially if you want to farm xp because as you guys can see i'm level 24 now i think in my video yesterday i was like level 9 or something so i gained a lot of levels by just kind of farming these towers and winning with brutalities and fatalities um there was one tower i don't remember where it is but it was like the end game tower it literally tells you Luke king's like stop you're you're not that guy pal you're not that guy trust me um and it is the uh the end game tower is it this one no that's the hourly tower um i probably won't be able to find it i'm not exactly sure where, where it was but it was kind of nuts so it was definitely nuts so and so I think these towers are going to be like the end game content with invasions where you you do the talismans, you level up your characters, you do all this kind of stuff. And then eventually it all leads to doing the uh, the towers, the gateway towers. That's going to be the main content to get like more coins and uh, all that kind of stuff post the season's actual content. But here in Sundo, um, there there's actually a lot to unlock here. What is this? Wait, I haven't done this yet? Oh my god, chat. Oh my god, we found something I haven't done. Where there's a clue. A-M-N-I-S-T-L-A-4. Well, I'm glad I got this on video. I don't I do not know what that, that clue is. Let me go ahead and look that up and we'll uh we'll come back and I'll let you guys know so you guys can know for this as well. Okay, so this is get a talisman with four uses and use all four in the match. Okay. With four uses. So let's go to this really quickly. And let's get a talisman with four different uses, like four different bonuses. But that has three charges. So does it mean with four, uh, four charges, I think? So then this one, right? We'll just use the one I'm using. Maybe that will work. Let's try this out. Okay, let's see, let's see. There. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Could you go come meditate for me? Let's use this one more time. Okay. Oh, I wasted that. Sorry, Shushinko. Okay, so there's that. Now let's use this one more time. Okay. Now if I do it again, I wonder if that's going to count for the the thing. Oh. Okay. One more time. And there we go. I wonder if those last two didn't count because I got interrupted. We'll see. We'll see though. There we go, we got the, uh, the brutality chat. And there we go. So, um, brutalities, finishing with brutalities is very crucial to, like, getting more points and stuff like that. That's why I was saying, like, a good way to rank up- oh my god, I got the Melina Mastery on video too, that's so huge. A good way that I was ranking up last night was I was kind of going to, like, the Fengjin Tea House, or, uh, the Fengjin Village, rather. And I was just, like, uppercutting people three times in a row, and, um getting you know more xp that way and i was doing the mastery so here is a chest i didn't get i'm glad i got this on video so that uh, i could show in case you guys missed it as well chances are you're not as dumb as me though oh we got a tiny color palette that's huge okay w w so there's that um we'll get rid of uh oh i gotta use this shit damn i already have one let's just discard the other one who cares it's fine um i actually want to show this off because this move is kind of crazy so let's go to like, let's go to like the, um, a different Mesa. So anyway, I'm all over the place with this video. I'm sorry. I wasn't sure where to start and I kind of just started talking, but, um, there's plenty of things to do in invasions. I finished the Sundo place, you know, the different tester mites, the different uh, places. There's the chest you guys saw me just do. And then now I moved on to the Tarkatan colony. I haven't finished it yet. I know I have to do that. And I think there's one other map until I get to Hanzo. So here's this, right? Let's use this. It's going to like one shot. So let's activate this. I'm pretty sure that this is going to one-shot. Maybe I'm stupid. We'll see. If I'm absolutely dumb, then we'll see. Okay. Oh, I'm dumb. Brutality. I thought I was going to do more damage than that. But basically, I did do that yesterday. I just, like, went into the fight and then used that uh, item and then, like, just one-shotted with the brutality. And I was like, wow, I'm hot shit. So there's that. Um, in Feng Jian, I did have to come back to do that one secret thing. Which was, it's, I think it was said, like, destroy the world, but it was all jumbled up. So for those that are stuck on that clue, 
what you have to do is use a Cyrax and then use his Cameo Fatality and explode the world. So uh, yeah, with that said, I don't know if there's really much more I have to say for invasions at this current moment. Um, there's the towers I already kind of talked about. Um, oh, oh, the stats. Here's what my Melina is looking like right now. I noticed that with specials, since um, most of the time I'm trying to just like get a match over with really quickly into a Brutality, which often does end with a special unless I'm doing the uppercut one. Um, I just made my special do more damage. So I can just keep enhancing the special what that does the brutality and then, you know, eventually kill with it. And then um, my lowest thing right now is defense. Uh, decreases incoming uh, damage from basic and combo attacks. Maybe I should try and increase that a bit. But yeah, this is what it's looking like across the board, right? Um, I do have a minus 85% magic like uh, resistance or whatever, like a weakness. So I probably want to try and work on that with a talisman or a relic or something. But yeah, I'm happy with the level 24 though. I'm very happy with that. And I'm happy with the mastery on Shujinko and Molina as well. So, Sundo, uh, Fengjin Village, the Gateway Portal, which is the Portal Hub. There's this, which is basically like Sundo, where it's a full-on place. And then we have the Wuxi Academy. So this was actually super clutch. If you guys have not touched this yet, make sure to do so. So it is like a central hub and a training area for you, the player. So here you can practice with your, um, your talismans and like your build and see how strong your build is. And then here with the Collector, you get some crazy stuff here. So, wait, you can get this every day? Oh my god, what? I thought that... I did not know you can get this every day, so I can get to show you guys. That's actually crazy. So, like, you can buy this, right? And then you can buy this, which is gives 50 invasions XP. And then um, this is refund all your allocated stat points. So I don't have enough to buy this. I'm 200 short, but that's fine. So this would give you an invasions level. So I highly recommend you guys don't use this. Like, I say buy it. 100% buy it. But don't use it if you're at a low level. Because I accidentally made that mistake. And it's not fun because like I went from like level like 10 to 11 with it or something like that and that is like no XP that is zero XP so what would be smart to do is when you're like level 29 or something that has a lot of XP to to get to the next level is when you want to use that item so that you can skip out all that grind so for example we do have these items though let's use this gain 50 invasions XP so just to show how much that is boom that's how much that is it's a lot it is a lot so now I have 10 points now let's do this too and that is 100 XP, and that gives us all the way until level 30. Wow, and now we have 30 more points. Bro, that's crazy. Wow, I just I just maxed Invasions level on a video. That's that's fire. Okay, I'm very happy with that. Um, where well, you guys got to see me get max Invasions level on video. So again, if you guys haven't touched the Wuxi Academy, make sure to do so. So here, let's give some to the defense. And then... Special attack. We'll just do it like, I don't know, maybe like this. And then give this to 55 and then do, no, not the basic attack, probably this. Wait, no, that's too much. We'll just give this to 50, a solid 50. There we go. So now we use those stats. We are level 30 in invasions, which is the max level for each season, I believe. But, um, is that really so, though? Like, that's it? So I'm already max a level with 46 days remaining. So now for the season, I have to work on my talismans, work on my relics, and, like, farming stuff to get better for the, um, the challenge towers, right? The gateway towers. That's what I should be doing now. Uh, after I finish these, uh, these areas. Of course, I still have to finish the Hanzo place and then these two places. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically my update on invasions. Um, again, make sure to go to Wuxi if you haven't already. And then uh, Tarkhan Colony is a very similar kind of thing to the uh, Sundo Festival and then the Fengjian Village, where it's like a full-on mode, uh, or a full-on map rather. And then this is more so a game mode, like a tower game mode that is tied to invasions. So all your invasions like stats and talismans and all that kind of stuff does carry on into the gateway portal. And uh, yeah, with that said, that is uh, basically my progress. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all I have to say right now. Um, I don't even know if I've done my dailies yet. I just finished streaming story mode for like three hours um, and then I uh, wanted to hop on here so I didn't get to play invasions today but I did play it last night a lot so yeah here's my daily quest I have to do these and then the weekly quests which it says I completed it so it's so like where's the Lee Mei skin wait remember yesterday in yesterday's video there was a Lee Mei skin there do I have the Lee Mei palette now let's go check that and then we'll go ahead and end the video so fighter Lee Mei So here's the different gear. It should be a pallet. 
See, I don't think I got this one from Invasions. It was supposed to be a yellow and red one. Or, like, you know, like the, the season. So, I wonder what's going on with that. Because remember, it was bugged in yesterday's video. So, let me know your guys' experience with that. If you guys got the Lee Mei skin or not. Let me know if you guys got it. But, uh, yeah, with that said, that's basically it. Um, as for the Invasions currency, like the, the gray currency that you can use to buy skins. I did use it last night, and I bought some skins. So, I bought Molina. I bought all of Molina's skins, um, because, you know, Molina is the character I do want to try and get the best with. Um, it, it is a work in progress, for sure. That is my day two update on invasions. I know it's not much. I'm, like, very middle game right now. I still haven't done everything, so I can't give you guys a full overview. And I'm not in, like, the pure grind state yet, where I just had to grind for towers. So I can't really give you guys that aspect either. Um, basically, what I did was one short burst of grinding, and this is what I have to show for it, right? So, um... I appreciate you all for watching. If you do like these videos on invasions, then do let me know. And if you want to see me do anything specific for invasions or for Mortal Kombat 1 in general, then do let me know. So there's my stats again. There it is. And uh, Shujingo is very hard to play with. I'm not even going to lie about it. He's very hard to play with and very inconsistent because you have to remember what he's doing with certain characters. It is really cool to see him do things like against Sento, he, or against uh, Kenshi rather, he has Sento. Or against Smoke, he can go invisible. Like, it's so cool, but it's so inconsistent. And for a player like me who's very not good, right, it's, it's going to be hard to learn him. But he is my baby girl, I love him so much, so I am going to keep using him at least until I get his full mastery. I appreciate you guys for watching, make sure you all stay safe and stay hydrated, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye